Hey there, LT Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. In the last episode, we kind of wandered around a bit, didn't actually accomplish that much. But we now have a direction, because the game was like, hey, you're in the wrong place. So we're heading in the direction that the game has directed us towards now. Uh, so in between episodes, number one, on the way back, I found a lore tablet thingy. I didn't read it, but like I found it. It was just a translator thing that's like, hey, there's lore here. Uh, the other thing is, I think my theory about what I remember is is definitely correct. About specifically killing things with the opposite energy that you want to get ammo for. Because I got ambushed while I was in the water by some of those, like, big mouthy things. And when I got ambushed, I was killing them with my Dark Laser, which you, you can see it's at 55 right now. But my, the first one I killed dropped light energy. So that was just like, oh. Yeah, that... Okay. So, like, if I... If I shot these things with light, probably... Okay, well, they, they didn't give me anything, but, like... I, f I feel like that's probably... Considering how infrequently I got anything, like, you know, I think it makes sense. Do I have green? I do have green now. Green super missile. I didn't go this way, then. Which seems to be a big, giant, open cliff area. Huh. Well, I might as well see what that is, if I can do anything. Although, I have a feeling that's probably going to be a grapple hook point. Hi! You know, buddy, when you're in a standoff like that, you probably should move left and right. You saw how well it was working for me. Anyways. He didn't drop me anything. It's remarkable how good these things are. Hey, look at that! Yeah, okay. That 100% that clinches it. If you want more of these weapon energy, we weapon things, destroy things with the, with the other one. Okay. That definitely... That explains at least why I haven't been finding them as drops very frequently. It's still not a guarantee, but it seems more likely than anything else. Oh, I missed the door entirely. Huh. Hold on, then. Luckily, these guys aren't like the Chozo ghosts from before, where they would just show up all the time, no matter what you do. I can kind of see it up in the corner there. Over here, yeah. Yeah, I just completely missed you. Oh no, it's a cannon thing. Alright. Shoot me away! No. This one automatically stops you. In the tracks. Alright. So I can't go that way? And that needs a grappling beam. Uh-oh. Oh! That's not, not instant death. Good to know. Alright, so yes. More grappling beam stuff, although I don't have yellow yet. That will... I will probably come back this way eventually, and that gets me an E-tank if I go that way. So, honestly, if I'm on, on the way back here...
Okay, so maybe you are a little like Joseph Ghosts. Yeah, okay. If I wasn't convinced before, I'm definitely convinced now. So that definitely is good to know. The only real problem is... just getting them to be even. But although now... I think I'm at a good point where I don't really need to try and grind for either. But basically, it took me about 30 approximate uses of light energy. Look at the thing over there. That looks like a shortcut. Hold on. I've killed everything in this room right now, so it's genuinely a better time for me to do this now. To try and explore this now. Because, like, everything's dead right now. So if this is a shortcut to the end of this room, that will just save me a lot of trouble. It took me about 30. Yeah, okay, so that's a shortcut to the end of the room. Awesome. So it took me 30 of the light in order to reclaim about 25 of the dark. Which isn't great. Have I gone to this portal yet? I have. But I need to go up this way, which is pretty darn close. So I'm gonna go to the meeting grounds first, and then re and then check out that portal on the way back. I I get turned around very easily, in case you couldn't tell. Oh. This is probably why I didn't go in all the directions in this area. Are you a thing? Technically you are, but you're not a thing I can do anything with. Apparently. Glad I didn't just hold the right button. I say it as if, as if it is actually a button, which it isn't, it is the stick. But you know what I mean. Glad I didn't just like keep holding right willy-nilly, is my point. That was what I was supposed to do, in fact. I don't really know how that makes map sense. Oh. Because it's the same... Okay. Alright, well, I don't like this. This tells... This screams boss arena to me. Is it gonna be like a giant bird thing? Like, there's all these birds.
I, I could sit here as long as I want to. I don't think it's changing anything. Alright. Oh. Okay. Is there a puzzle I'm supposed to solve with this? Oh lord, no. It's one of these kinds of puzzles. I don't know what I matched up on this end. Is the problem. I guess it's really just a matter of like knowing the order in which to spin these things in. So now if I go back to the original one, the only two that are spinning are the ones that are not yet done. Okay, well, that wasn't too bad, all things considered. I, the problem to me is I don't know what I was doing. I was just spinning until it turned yellow. <laughs> but I suppose that's good enough. Alright, so maybe not a boss. Maybe it was just the puzzle and that was it. I mean, I'll take it. That's not a grapple beam. That's a homing missile. <laughs> huh? I mean, cool, thanks, but... Huh? Okay, well. Just to... I was, in my head, I was like, huh, what, because you know those blast doors that had like the five different things that you're supposed to hit? That made sense to me in my head, it's like, oh, maybe I need this to open that, and then I saw these things that are like glowing red. And I'm like, hmm, 
Maybe this has something to do with it. Because, I mean, hell, there are five things here. But maybe that's also, like, a thing that I come back to. I don't know. It says something about, like, shattering the central container or whatnot. But, like, shooting them doesn't seem to do anything. Now, here's the thing. I was gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna just... Head back to a save point, because there's one nearby, and then I'll kind of come back and try and go through that portal. I can't reach that portal. Like, I can't even target these things. The only things I can, in here I can target are, like, these bats, but, like, they don't... Doesn't seem like it does anything, necessarily. And I do have a limit on how much I can, like, lock onto. So... That's not gonna get me anywhere. Oh! No, I'm right! I can get through purple n now. I was actually genuinely 100% right. I just didn't turn around enough. Okay. So that opens up a lot to me now. Huh. That opens up a lot. Where the heck do I even go from here now? Well, my answer is... To my ship. First and foremost. But now, I, I don't have the grappling beam, is the thing. But I have... A lot more I can get through. Wait a second, wait a second. Because I'm still supposed to, supposed to be exploring Torvis Bar Bog right now, you know? Where's Torvis Bog? World map. Torvis Bog's over here, yeah? Uh, level map. I have purple now. I can get in here, for one thing, if I really wanted to. But I think more importantly, I think I can reach purple door here now, right? Maybe? No, 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 I can't. No, okay, it's a good thing I checked. The purple door is still the same height as the other doors. What I was remembering is like the lower thing is the thing underneath the purple door. Because there's another indent there. Alright, so I can't go that way yet, still. Is there anything else in Torvis Bog that's purple? Not necessarily, and I don't seem... Uh... Well, there's a purple door that way, but I think that's... Hmm... So there are two purple doors in Dark Torvis that I can access now. Hmm. I can go to those, but I don't know if I want to. Anywhere else specifically that's like purple that I can reach now that I want to try to go for? I'm 
Not in here, that's for sure. I think most of the purple that I remember seeing... There's a lot that I haven't gone over here. This is something I'm assuming is the grapple beam only. Uh, is it green over here I can go into now? Man, this place is huge. There's a purple over here by a portal that I can go into now. Like, I can go back to Dark Aegon. Or just Aegon in general. Why is there dark gray? Oh, there's another beam that I don't have. True. Like, I can go over back to Dark... T to Torvis. Uh, this isn't Torvis. Aegon. I can go back over to Aegon. And do things in Aegon. But, like, I don't know if I even want to. Honestly, I th think... The other thing is, awkwardly, there's no fast travel. I feel like a game having... A, a Metroidvania having some form of fast travel is really, impor is, is really important. Or maybe I'm just spoiled. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if there is going to be extensive backtracking, like, having some sort of fast travel point is definitely useful. Even if it's just, like, one per area, that's still nicer than nothing. I don't know. Maybe that would have solved everybody's problems with Prime 1, considering how everybody didn't like... Everybody but me, apparently, didn't like the quest to... What was it? Chozo Artifacts. A lot of people didn't like that, apparently. I remember looking that up and finding out that people were really upset by it. Anyways, I'm gonna go head back to Torvis, because I feel like that's the place I should be at. The game dictated me to go there, and now I've got- now I've got purple. So, like, it's at least worth checking out. So, I'm gonna check it out. So, I will meet you guys at a Torvis purple. Sentences that make zero sense out of context. Unless I want to go here. You know what? I'm going to go here. Because... I can, and it's on the way. So I might as well check it out. For all I know, this could also be something I'm missing. Maybe there's more purple Leela. I don't know. I haven't been here in a bit. Since I've got super missiles now, I can go in here, after all. The only question is what's in here? Those guys are so much easier when you can afford to use light energy on them. <laughs> they only take like three shots. So nice. Control's not present in the given time space. Oh. Huh. 
Huh. Alright, so I might need to come back for that, I guess. It looked like it was some sort of, like, missile tank thing, so... Maybe not the most important. I don't know. Oh, hi! Okay, one thing I dislike about that is that it's just not a straight up kill the things. So if you miss a thing, it's just kind of annoying. And waste a lot of missiles, but missiles are also relatively easy to get back. Excuse me. One second. Alright, sorry about that. Uh... Oh! I'm back in the exact area I was just at. Aren't I? Huh. Only... Anyways, I, I had to use the bathroom. <laughs> Sometimes, like... There are times when I'm just courting something and I'm just like, Oh, suddenly my body has decided, yes, use the bathroom. That now is a good time. Now is the only time. Huh? Are these, like, the Chozo artifacts that I was just talking about? Because that's what this seems and sounds like. That is exactly what this sounds like. Well, it's a good thing I'm getting all these down now. I'm surprised if the Chotho artifacts were so negatively... Uh... Negatively received. Did I... I don't remember getting a thing like that. I might have gotten it in the previous... In, in like the... In 2017 though. <laughs> So that might be why I'm misremembering. Uh, I'm genuinely kind of surprised that um, if it got so negatively received back in the day that they would even do it again. But maybe they're just kind of like doubling down. And honestly, I don't mind it inherently. If it means going exp exploring and like there's the extra benefit of I have them all written down now. So like I don't need to even come back here to figure out where to go. I can just look at where to go. The only one, one that, like, actively stood out to me is the one that was, like, mentioned the Flooded Temple. Um. Anyways, I'm standing here because, like, I'm low on health and I want to gain some health because I've been taking a lot of hits and it's helpful to have just free heals like this. Uh, and then in the meantime, I can talk about what I was thinking about while I was in the bathroom. Because <laughs> that was what I was going to say and then I got distracted. Um, sometimes when I do have to 
uh, BRB like that, and it's like, oh, well, I'm still in the middle of recording, so I can, like, think about the game and what I want to talk about. And the thing that came to my mind was, I don't know necessarily exactly how I feel about ammo stations not being combined with save stations. Because I'm not, like, a big Metroid player. I've played Prime 1. That's it. I also don't remember how it was handled in Prime 1, if I'm being quite frank. All I can really talk about is here and now. And here and now, it seems not terrible. It's not. I'm not angry about it. But it seems surprisingly randomly inconvenient to me. Like, it, it seems without purpose. It just seems like this is just a random extra step. Like, you've reached a save point, but you can't refill your ammo. But there's a separate ammo station that you can find that will refill just your ammo. And if you go to your personal ship, then you can get both at once. And it's like, okay, but why not just have it all at once? And, like, to me, that even seems almost easier, because, like, from a map perspective, you don't need to design secret ammo rooms now. You can just design the save rooms, and voila. From a dev perspective, you also don't need to do separate animations, so you don't need a separate, like, animation for shooting. You don't need a separate animation. Animation for saving is all just in one place. And that seems useful to me, personally. A bit convenient. In a sense. Uh, so to that... From that perspective, it's like... I don't know, I think that sounds pretty useful to me. But then there's also the element of... Uh... What about... Am I in, like, evil version of my ship? Yes. There's nothing else here. Um... The thing is... Uh... The other awkwardness that I have... In a sense... I can't see you guys, hold on. Please stop melting into goop. There were four of these guys this whole time. Anyways, what I was talking about as well... Is like... Did I have a reason to kill those guys? Like, come over here at all? Hmm. Um... The other thing that's interesting to me... Is... It also had me thinking... What, what's the point of coming over here? had me thinking uh what 
it, it had me thinking, like, what if that made things easier? Like, having, like, ammo stations and save stations in one thing. Number one, they would be able to design the game around that. So it wouldn't really... I don't think it would change the difficulty at all. But it also had me thinking, like, I don't really think that matters, necessarily. Does that make sense? Because, like... That just kind of... Doesn't change anything. It doesn't change the design of anything else. Why even come over here? Either there's something I'm just flat out genuinely missing, or uh, you get the ability to eventually go through the, that ringworm thing at some point. Um, but either way... Ah! Why did you start doing that? I just want to leave. Um, it had me thinking about difficulty in that regard, and it made, my initial thought was, oh, that's just artificial difficulty, that's annoying. But then it made me realize that I kind of don't think I like the term artificial difficulty nowadays. Because there's not really a reason to call it artificial. It's not like... It's truly fake difficulty or anything. It's entirely valid difficulty to be done that in that in that kind of way. It's just not difficulty present within the level design or anything. It's a different kind of difficulty. Which made me come up with the different kind of term for it, for what I might consider that. I think a better term than artificial difficulty is the concept of difficulty through talking around a doorbell. Difficulty, um... I realize it's taking a while, but I don't care. Difficulty through... The inconvenience. Is what I would might consider calling that. Difficulty through inconvenience, specifically because it's like... Difficulty through inconvenience in the sense of, like... Think about it, like, in the terms of an NES game. You, Those games are hard, genuinely hard. But a lot of it is because, like, you don't have save points usually. You have to beat it all in one go. You have limited continues, that sort of thing. And, like, that's... Not inherently not difficult. And I don't necessarily think it's artificial in any sense. Because, like, they're still trying to make the game harder. Like, it's not some sort of... I feel like artificial makes it sound like it's fake. Like, artificial scarcity. A term like that, like, makes it feel like it's fake. It's designed that way. But, like, all difficulty is sort of, like, intended to be designed. That, that doesn't really help to change anything. So, like, calling artificial difficulty with the implication essentially that it's fake difficulty, it's not real difficulty. It, it, it's not really real. So I feel like... It, not really real. It's not really fair. So I feel like the better answer to that, the better explanation, the better terminology, would be difficulty through inconvenience. Not having as many save points, not ha ha having to ha do extra steps to do certain basic things. Like, they're inconvenient. And they might make things difficult, but, like, that's still the point. They're still trying to make things difficult by doing it in that particular way. It doesn't mean that it's invalid. 
It just means that it's not... It's not trying to play nice in every sense of the word. I don't know. I missed the portal that I'm trying to go for. So, like, I, I think I prefer the term difficulty through inconvenience now. Because, like, if you think about it in, in that respect, like, it would be convenient for a save station and an ammo station to be the same thing. And thus, it makes it a little more difficult if they're not the same thing. That sort of thing. It's not an issue. It's not how dare you be designed that way. It's just a... It's just... This is how it happens to be designed. So... Yeah. That's that, really. Anyways, shortcut, activate. Now I've done that, and I'm heading back to Torvis Bog. Uh, I don't have much else to say. My main goal has been just trying to go back to a thing, so I'm going to try and go back to a thing now. I did say I was going to cut away to that, so... This is a good place as any. Okay. I'm back here in Torvis Temple. On the bottom. And over here is the purple that I want to go through. I think that's another thing where it's like... Doing this waste... Five missiles, because you need to be... There's not really a way you can charge the missile without firing one, straight up. Which seems like a problem to me. Aegon... Wait, what? I'm going up to Aegon Wastes? This is not what I expected. Not what I expected at all. Where am I and why am I here? I don't really know where I am, but I, f I feel like that might have been like one of the one doors I saw earlier. Well, I guess if, uh, if I'm here... Hey, you know what? This kind of is its own weird form of tra fast travel, I guess. So I, I do remember seeing that green over there. I feel like this is probably the area it wants me to go, though. Because, like, A, that's somewhat close. B, there's a save station in, on the way there. And, like... I don't know what would have prevented me from going here before. So it's at least worth checking out. Unless I just couldn't reach the door, it's entirely possible that I can't jump to reach that door. I don't know. Is there anything in the dark that I should try and go for? Black door over that way, maybe. And a portal up there. Hmm. There's a lot in Dark Aether that I haven't got in Dark Aegon that I haven't gone through. So that could also be what it wants me to do. But I'm going to try Light Aegon first because it's just easier. Uh, hold on. Yeah, you can't you can't even buffer it? Okay, that's yeah, you have this is basically a six missile gate every single time, and that's really annoying. I feel like if they wanted to be five missiles, they should have acknowledged that it was going to be five. Uh, that it was going to require you to fire one every single time. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, this is a... Ooh. I never could get to that portal up there because this is a speed thing. Oh, it definitely wants me to go into the portal then. Alright, well. 
I've been recording for a while, so I'm gonna go save over here. And then I'm going to start the next episode. Oh, hey! I recognize the save station anywhere. This is where I ended everything. <laughs> okay, well, next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime 2. I don't know how long this episode has, was. It might have been a while. But either way, if I have long episodes, it, it is what it is. Next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime 2, I'm going to go in that portal. So, see you guys then.